Hello everyone and welcome back to another vlog video. For this vlog I'll be sharing some of the things I did and actually remember to film during February and March, so let's get into it. Alright, so in February I decided to do a wardrobe clean out where I basically went through all of the items in my wardrobe and took out all of the things I either haven't worn in over a year or that I just wasn't as excited about anymore and list all of them on Lace Market, which is what you see me doing here. I try to go through my wardrobe each time I get a new main piece so that I'm only keeping things that I really like and know that I'm going to wear and not just accumulating a bunch of stuff that's going to sit in the back of my closet collecting dust. At this point it had been a few months months since I had gone through my wardrobe, so I had quite a few things that need to be listed, but at the time that you're seeing this video, I've managed to sell everything except for one item, so definitely worth all of the time it took to photograph and list all of these things on Lace Market. One of the more exciting things that happened this month was finally getting my sugar bouquet order! Since I wasn't one of the lucky ones to get a dress during the initial release, I ended up having to enter the lottery through the SF store, which thankfully I won because if I hadn't, I honestly think I would have cried. Sugar bouquet was like the dress I was after in 2023, so I am very happy to not only have won the lottery for the dress, but also the other two items that I ordered as well. Isn't she just so gorgeous? So fun fact, this was actually my first time getting a dress during a release and what a ride that was. <laughs> I almost didn't get this dress because after I had put everything in my cart, I foolishly thought that that meant that those items were mine and couldn't be purchased because they were in my cart. So while I was deciding between what hair accessory to get, I ended up losing everything. So when I went to go click buy the first time, it told me that the hair bow was sold out and I was like, oh no. And so I went to go hit buy again Again, and then it said the dress was sold out and I was like you have got to be kidding me So I literally go back to try to buy any lavender cut of this dress and they were all sold out Literally it had only been two or three minutes since the start of the release and all of the lavender items were gone So lesson learned just click the buy button and figure out the rest later. Do not linger in the cart Your items are not safe lesson learned so after that whole traumatic event, I decided to get both hair accessories that ultimately cost me this dress during the initial release, which were the hair bow and the bonnet. This is my first ever bonnet, so I'm super excited to see how it will look in future cords, especially more OTT ones. To kick off the start of spring, my calm was invited to Filoli, which is this beautiful historic estate and garden in Woodside, California. And yeah, this place is absolutely gorgeous and very picturesque. One of my favorite places was this kind of daffodil meadow area that was just covered in all different varieties of daffodils, which were so cute and vibrant and honestly just smelled amazing. My con even put together a little scavenger hunt where you had to find different types of flowers scattered throughout the gardens, which I took very seriously. As a reward for finding everything, you were able to get this lovely pin, which I was very proud to have received. <laughs> Thank you. 
The weather this day wasn't exactly the best since it was on and off sprinkling throughout the time we were there, but thankfully I came prepared with my lovely AP raincoat that I bought last year and even managed to get some really nice pictures of me wearing it, which I absolutely love. I did also manage to get some pictures wearing my actual cord of the day, which was Baby's Strawberry Rose Bouquet in Mint. This dress is so stunning and I had so much fun putting together this cord that day and am really happy with how this looked turned out. So one day, while mindlessly scrolling on Closet Child, I managed to find the hair accessory that I have been after for three years, you guys, three years. And that is AP's Melty Cream Donuts Barrette in Mint. I have lost countless bidding wars for this barrette and even had an incident last year where I purchased what I thought was the mint barrette only to receive the Saks one because the seller mislabeled it. But as you can see, there is a very clear difference between mint and Saks, so I'm not really sure how they got the two mixed up. But anyways, after three long years, I now finally have a complete set of one of my number one dream dresses. As for the Saks Barrette, I managed to sell it to someone on my lace market, which was nice, so I just reused the packaging from my Closet Child order and sent it off to its new home. Towards the end of the month, I received another email from Baby saying that I had an order ready for pickup, so I decided to wear Lolito this day since the weather was actually really nice out for once, so I wanted to take advantage of that. One of the things I like the most about this cord is how it's kind of a mix between both sweet and classic style, which is there a word for that kind of style? No? Maybe? I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. I've also been leaning more towards wearing my natural hair out more with my Lolita cords, and I have to say that I really love how it looks with this cord in particular, and I definitely want to try experimenting with more natural hairstyles in the future. Let's take a look at some of the items I got. The first thing I got were these white heart buckle shoes that I ordered at the beginning of the year, which were also the reason for this trip to baby today. I also picked up these white and lavender bow socks. And the last thing that I bought was this short sleeve red cardigan with heart details on it that I just thought was super cute and would go with a lot of things in my wardrobe. But yeah, that's pretty much everything for this haul as well as for this vlog. I hope you all enjoyed this video despite being several months late and I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Bye!